Infiltration for upper anterior teeth. The demo will be on the upper lateral. We got here two lines, the long axis of tooth and the mucogingival fold level. The cross between the, the cross between these two lines will be the point of insertion. We go with the short needle, 45 degrees. And that's the part of the syringe. It's very important to know the part of the syringe. And that's the part of the needle we use, long or short, no difference between the parts. And that's here how we put these together, syringe, needle, the carbool. There's a lot of part there's a lot of part for the carbool too, we need to know it. The, these are the parts. And for the component of the liquid inside the carbool, that's the component. And this different type of carbool with different concentration. And that's how we put the needle. We should make sure that the needle not bended when we put it, so the liquid go out. And very important to know that there is two type of anesthesia was with vasoconstrictor and without vasoconstrictor. Most of the time we use with vasoconstrictor. Here we go. Make sure the needle. We make sure the needle that put in the right way. The liquid go out. The needle not bended like this. And then when we wanna when we wanna close the needle. We should make sure that we use one hand technique, scoop technique, to make sure that you're not getting injured. Before we give the before we give the anesthesia, we put the topical anesthesia. We put it with few pressure, then we wait few time after the topical anesthesia, give the effect. We will get ready to inject. With a short needle, go at 45 degree, slowly the position to reduce the pain. Like just like that. When we finish, we give a soft massage to help the anesthesia to diffuse. For palatal infiltration, after we put topical, we apply pressure because it's one of the hard, one of the most painful places to give anesthesia in. So. We, put, we apply pressure with slowly deposition to reduce the pain.